Hey guys, Nick here again. Today I'm going to show you how to build your very own beverage cooler mash tun. Here's what you'll need. I'm using a 5 gallon beverage style cooler. You can use a larger one if you like. 10 gallons is pretty popular. You're going to need a half inch ball valve, a corresponding pipe nipple that's an inch and a half long, coupling, hose barb, and a 90 degree street style elbow. Optionally, I'm using some quick disconnects to attach my hose. You can use a second hose barb instead if you wish. You also need a 3 quarter inch inside diameter silicone flat gasket, large washer, and a straight threaded lock nut. All the hardware we're using is stainless steel and food safe. To put it all together, grab some Teflon tape, an 8 millimeter socket wrench, an awl, pliers, adjustable wrenches, and some half inch silicone tubing. Then we're going to use one of these to make a filter. It's a water heater connector and you want to make sure that you get the stainless steel one and not the plastic one. They look alike. Grab yourself an all stainless steel hose clamp that'll just fit over the mesh braid. Finally, I'm gonna use a hacksaw to cut both ends of the stainless steel braid. Now let's prep this cooler. Now that this is prepped, grab your pipe nipple and your Teflon tape and put a couple of turns of Teflon starting from the center, working your way over the outer half. Take your gasket and work it to the flat portion on the center of the nipple. Thread your washer and your lock nut on just like this and then push this through the inside of the cooler. Now we're ready to put on our ball valve. Now go ahead and thread it on snug but not too tight. With both of your adjustable wrenches take one and put it on the inside to hold the lock nut in place and take the other on the ball valve and snug it up. And now's the time to test for leaks. No leaks, so now we're gonna go cut this braid. So take your pliers, go ahead and hold on to the inner plastic tubing, and then work back the stainless steel to slide the tube out. Now that your tube is out, Grab your pliers again and bend over one of the ends to crimp it. Now with the other end, go ahead and just take the frayed edges and bend them inward with your pliers so you have a nice clean edge to work with. So go ahead and put your coupling on your hose barb and then go ahead and screw the coupling on the inside of the cooler. So take your hose clamp put it over the stainless steel braid, grab your socket wrench, and tighten it down once you've got it over the hose barb. Wrap some Teflon tape around both cam lock fittings. Now here comes the tricky part. We're going to work the silicone tubing over the male end of the street elbow. Go ahead and take your F-style cam lock fitting, thread it into your ball valve. Now take your B-style cam lock fitting and screw it into the street elbow. Pop your cam lock on, add a couple of finishing touches, and hey, that's it. You guys are done.